I'm Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our reflections. As we did with Christmas and Holy Family Sunday for the Feast of the Epiphany in January of 2022, we'll continue our reflection linking some of the hymns of our Christmas tradition with some of the texts of the season. We began thinking about Christmas carols and talked about how in our imaginations from the time of St. Francis of Assisi forward, we have continuously conflated the stories of Luke's gospel, which features a stronger presence of Mary and the shepherds being the first to come and see the newborn king, with Matthew's gospel, which features a larger presence of Joseph and the entrance of the Magi. And because the Feast of the Epiphany always talks about these Magi, it returns to Matthew's gospel, even though in this season we're reading largely from Luke. And to do this reflection, I thought I would take another one of the Christmas hymns that conflate the two scripture traditions into this one amalgamated tradition like our crib scenes or creches in our homes do. Of course, in Luke's gospel, it's the shepherds who come. In Matthew, there are no shepherds. It's all about the magi. And to do this, I thought we would use the first Noel, or at least a few verses of it. This comes out of a French tradition into a British tradition and first existed as a tune, as a folk song, long before it became an example of what we would think of as a Christmas hymn. It's one of those that knits together and then becomes historically inaccurate because of it. it starts with the first Noel the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds. That sounds like Luke. But in the verse two, they, those shepherds, looked up and saw a star. Well, the star doesn't feature in Luke's gospel, it's the supporting cast from Matthew's gospel. And then as the hymn continues in verse five, entered in those wise men three, which of course in Matthew's gospel are never numbered as three, and we associate the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh with them. So we've conflated that detail from Matthew's gospel into our own imaginations of three gift bearers, magi. As we continue this celebration of the season of Christmas in the church, we're reminded that while the day after Christmas, the stores began taking down their decorations and marking down anything that looked like Christmas, and maybe by now in early January have their Valentine's Day setting up. In the church, we have a different rhythm. So these weeks following Christmas give us a time to unpack what that great mystery of the incarnation is that we celebrate and how it progresses within the liturgy all the way through the baptism of the Lord. We here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral hope you and your family are faring well this Christmas season. We want you to know that we keep you in our prayers. We ask you to do the same with us till the time comes when you might be able to join us here in Las Vegas at the cathedral for live worship where that feast of the incarnation in history is celebrated in Christ's presence in the liturgy in mystery. Till then, spend some time with the scriptures. This is a week featuring Matthew's gospel in the liturgy, so you might read those early chapters about the infancy stories of Jesus from there. And you and yours can also feel free to join us in the first Noel. The first Noel the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep a 
on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No. Born is the king of Israel. 